Now that we have the part files made, uh, it's time to start the drawing file. One thing I forgot to do though, let's go back to our sides, side 2 and side 1. We do have to make a flat pattern of those sides. Um, if we forget to do that before going into the drawing, it causes some issues. So just make sure it does fold, it folds back up, and you hit save in between. Alright, now let's go back to making a new drawing file. And again, we have to make this 8.5 by 11. Oop, go away box. Edit sheet. So this is an A size paper. A size is 8.5 by 11. Uh, we are going to change that border here. It's too big. So delete that. Drawing resources. For your title blocks, let's put in ANSI A instead. And for our base, let's look for the one that just says box. Okay. Uh, if you don't have it here as your drop-down, go for a search. It should be inside of your sheet metal box folder. And if this shows up for you, make sure files of type is checked for all Inventor file types. We just want the one that says box. And we want the flat pattern of the box. Uh, to make sure this fits on the paper, I'm going to rotate it sideways and give it a scale of 1 to 1. Okay. And this way, when we're in the shop, we can check that whatever we're cutting out is the right size. This will be a lot easier to double check dimensions. So we'll put it up there somewhere, click OK, and then go grab your dimension tool. So that's under Annotate, Dimension. Um, and then we're just going to start clicking on sides here. This shouldn't take you very long at all. I don't want your lines crossing through your box. That's something I take points off for. So uh, let's change this to fractions first. I'm going to right click on a dimension, go down to edit dimension style. When the box finally pops up, change this from decimal to fraction. I don't care which fraction. Make sure it goes down to the sixteenths of an inch. Save your edits. And now that we have our fractions in here, Let's see if we can't scoot some of these guys up. So everything will fit. Ooh, it's a little tight. It's not too bad. And we even have a little bit more space up here. A little bit. Okay, we also want to dimension these, show that that's a half inch, from there to there. Four and five eighths, awesome. It would be helpful to put a folded part in here too, so let's go back to place views for base. And uh, let's go to where it just says box. Give me an ISO view of what that thing would look like. And let's put one of those down here. We may have to shrink the view just a little bit. That might be too much. But it doesn't want to go much bigger. Let's see here. Quarter view. Let's try a third view. Third isn't too bad. That'll work. We'll make that shaded. And then in your title block, you want to type in your name and the one right below it you want to type in a uh, box okay uh, let's make another sheet so place views new sheet base this time we're putting on the side and side 2 works just as well as anything so we'll do a flat pattern we'll make sure this is a one-to-one -one scale okay and we're also going to put in a folded pattern of the same side. I want to fold it where I can see the fold, though. Or I want to angle it where I can see the fold. So I'll make that one shaded up there. I thought I told it to be shaded. There we go. And we're going to dimension the important parts here. Okay. 
we didn't care about what these angles were. Uh, this, though, should be one and a half. It changed itself to one and seven sixteenths. One of the things about sheet metal is it starts changing dimensions on you to make it all fit better. Um, you'll also notice it could just be because that didn't dimension where I thought it would. All right, let's delete this and this. 2 and 7 sixteenths is correct. From that point to this edge up here, there's my 1 and a half. I knew it was hiding. And 2 and 3 sixteenths. That looks good too. Okay. Um, we're going to make a note on this one. And we want to say that other side is mirror image and and maybe it looked better if it was in all caps okay make sure you put your name on here and you can just call this side All right, and we only have one more thing left to do. Let's go back to place views, new sheet. We want the assembly of this whole thing. That's our isometric, shaded, and uh, why not do a one-to-one -one scale? It'll fit. Let's also do a presentation view. Can we get away with one-to-one? -one? Maybe, maybe not. We're going to have to do half scale there. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Half scale, I guess, will work. And we'll make that shaded. I'm curious. What if we did three quarter instead? I think that looks better. Okay. Make sure you go to annotate. And we have to put in a parts list. You know, it's just the three parts. They go right there. Oh, I should be able to scooch the whole thing in. Box side and side two. Uh, description on these guys, we're going to say this is just sheet metal, and you can highlight that, copy, and just paste it on down. Okay, and then we go to balloon, you click your part, click away, right click continue, click your part, click away, right click continue, part, away, continue. Uh, always make sure these are at a little bit of an angle, and you can always go back and fiddle with them later if you want them to all be the same angle and look a little prettier. Okay, come back in here, put in your name again, and this will be our uh, sheet metal box bomb. I guess we'll spell out bill of materials. Okay. That is the entire project. Let's save that. And, uh, sure, we'll call it. sheet metal box. After you've saved it, you have to do this one more step. You go up here to file. You go to save as. Save a copy as. Change your thing to a PDF. Options. All sheets. And click OK. This way you have something you can actually turn in on Canvas so I can give you a grade. Because if you don't do this step, I don't have anything to grade. Uh, this is what it should look like when you go to turn it into me. Three sheets. Cool.